When you go to Google Image Search, what you have available to you is a search engine for the images that are found widely on the internet. Some of these images will also be in repositories, such as uh, the Getty uh, Image Collection, which is a, an organization that sells images for uh, publications and things like that. But you'll also find images from throughout the web, photos that people have taken, images they've drawn, that type of thing. There are two ways to search for Google Images. The first is just by keyword. We're going to just type in a search term. The other that I'm going to show you quickly here is to actually search by an image itself. So that might be helpful if you know you want an image of a particular object, or if you want to check to see if anyone else has used an image of yours, for instance, if you want to see if anybody's violated your copyright for an image you've used, or if you're just looking for something similar. So if you search by image, you can paste an image URL. That's if you know the actual URL or of where the image lives online, or you can upload an image. So in this case, I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to choose this tennis ball that I have saved on my computer. And it will upload that file to the Google search engine, and it will show you a search for that tennis ball. So this is the image I had. And down below, you see very... Uh, uh, similar images below uh, that, that some of them are, are straight up tennis balls, some have different orientations, um, some have text on them, dots, hands holding them, etc. And then it will show you various websites where those images exist. If you want to click on one of those uh, images, it will take you to the web page that, that exists on. You can determine whether or not it has the right uh, usage rights to be used. You'll also see they have related searches for different types of balls. And they'll also ask you if you want to actually search for the word tennis ball. It is recognized that as a tennis ball. So that's one way you can search. You'll also notice you have your uh, options up above this little menu for settings and tools. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. Those exist when you search for image as well. Now if we want to do a search for maybe like a horse or something. Here we have a bunch of images for horses. You'll see that they have some subcategories they've tagged. There's so many images that they decided they could do just images that are drawings of horses. And so you can limit to that. You could go back and say, I want to do a horse head or a cartoon within that drawing category. Or you might say, I want a cute horse or a baby horse, or I want a wild horse. There are lots of different options here. And so if you see something that looks decent, looks along the lines of what you're wanting, I'm going to go for uh, some type of Clydesdale here. What it will do, it will focus your search to that particular breed, color uh, of horse or the action that it's performing. And then you can scroll through and look at these images. Now you'll see that each of these are coming from a different website, time.com, horsejournals.com, today.com. It's pulling all these images from websites and it will take you to those websites if you click on the image. The other option you have is under tools. You can limit to the size of the image. So a small little icon all the way up to a larger image. It will limit your results to those. You can also limit to the type of color. So in this case, Clydesdales are going to be of a particular color. You're not going to find any red uh, horses out there. But if you want to go down to the right, you'll see the usage rights. Now this can be very important because Commercial use of an image is an, the use that you have to pay for. You would then license the right to use that image. And that's where you'll find companies like Getty and uh, others, you know, Shutterstock, that have images that you can purchase for use in uh, newsletters, your website, etc. If you're not interested in commercial use of an image, but you want to have something that's more of a Creative Commons use, you can select Creative Commons, Commons License. A Creative Commons license doesn't mean that it's free for you to use however you want, necessarily. There are different types of Creative Commons licenses, and you'll need to investigate that online elsewhere to determine how you can use those images. But you'll see that Wikipedia, uh, they have a Wikimedia Commons area, and usually those images are free to use in a creative way for free. If you have any questions about how to search Google Images or other resources, please don't hesitate to reach out to your librarians. We're always happy to help. Take care.